What up, y'all? This is your boy Lucia Guy, and I'm back with another video. I'm gonna start this off with um, this is a state of pro wrestling. I'm gonna do hey, like a monster Lucha slam the like and subscribe button. All right, I want to say this. So, um, yesterday, I guess AEW announced that CM Punk is gonna be a collision. Okay, why is this shocking? We already knew this. Obviously, the whole point of them making Collision was because Tony Khan can't seem to know how to control AEW with both Punk and the Elite. The whole point of Collision, really, they made this new show after the little all-out all media scrum and Tony Khan, he can't seem to know how to put his foot down a roster's damn throat. He can't see. He don't know how to get these guys to work together. I know um, I, uh, someone even brought this up in the last video. It's a good point. The Rock and Shawn Michaels had problems, all right? There was problems with, like, the, um, the, the, um, the fuck, the click and a lot of guys in the back, Stone Cold, the hearts and the click. The click would be guys like, um, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Kevin Nash. They was trouble to back for a lot of people in the earlier Attitude Era, late in your house era. Like, Stone Cold, Rock, Undertaker, a lot of guys had a problem with the click, but, uh, backstage, like, backstage politics and stuff. But Vince still knew how to, um, get these guys all to, I mean, you didn't get too many matches with The Rock and Shawn Michaels. They never faced, really. But my point is, Vince Steele know how to get guys to work together. At least be on a roster at the same time for a while. I mean, what the hell? Like, what are they going to do with the pay-per-views? Is it only going to be Punk at one pay-per-view and the Elite at another? Like, this is kind of a joke. You got to create another show because guys don't know how to get along. I will, I mean, I don't like AEW. A lot of people say, oh, you're still judging. I've, I've watched like three episodes of AEW. It was trash. I stopped watching. Now, I might, I don't even know if I watch the whole show. I might catch clips of what Punk do. I might just see highlights of Collision before I sit down and watch the whole damn show. My favorite show, Power Book 2, went off the air. Right now, I don't got nothing to watch on TV. But um, I'll see what maybe, uh, what this is about. I, I'm not a Punk hater. I do like seeing Punk. I do like CM Punk, but I don't know. I might give it a chance and watch, but I don't know. I don't feel like, um, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I still don't like AEW. I, re I really don't. I think TNA was better old school, but um, I might watch the, uh, some of uh, Collision because I got a video plan. I'm going to compare AEW Collision or the whole AEW product to um, what's the Heroes of Lucha Libre. Heroes of Lucha Libre now don't look that damn bad compared to the current garbage. WWE is boring. I looked at clips of, I guess, the Usos turn on Roman Reigns. Like, I don't know. Right now, wrestling is kind of stale and boring, so I might watch this summer because um ain't nothing going on this summer i might watch the heroes of lucha libre i didn't even plan on watching fast and furious but i might now because they shit on tv if y'all got any recommendations on good tv shows let your boy know down below maybe i'll review it last what the fuck is mlw doing okay um Caesar Dorn got kidnapped, and I, right now, they haven't mentioned nothing about Azteca. I'm not calling Azteca Lucha anyway, but Caesar Dorn is kidnapped on MLW. But my point is this. He's kidnapped, and then um, it's like if what guy said at the time, the clock is ticking with him in um, MLW. My point with that is they should have never brought in uh, Caesar Dorn and act like they want to do some spoof, shoot, spin off spiritual successor of like Lucha Underground, like it can live on in MLW, like it can live on under a different name. They should have um, never done this if they can't make Azteca. Look how Tony Khan is making new shows. MLW can make Azteca Underground another show. Like, Azteca Underground could have been another show, and they lose so many wrestlers. Azteca Underground could have been a show with mostly luchadors from Triple A. And then the last show, they rebooted. They got a new sexy star. They recast it. A lot of people's wondering, is that the same? It's not the same sexy star. That's a new sexy star that Triple A gave. They gave a, a chick that's like 30 the name sexy star. It's like them giving a dude on um, the name Pentagon Jr., I guess Triple A hold the rights to those names and can give it down to a new luchador. So when people say, what are they going to do? Lucha Underground can't return every... I guess they could give this damn names to other wrestlers. But it's crazy if I have to see somebody else playing the role of Pentagon or Phoenix or Drago or Edo Star. Man, I'm on people. Peace. Let me know right now what do y'all think about the current state of pro wrestling. Is it funny, y'all? Is it good? And then let me know what y'all think down below about, um, well, let me know um down below what y'all think about MLW with, um, Azteca, uh, Lucha, and Caesar Dorn and all that, this whole angle. Because, I mean, a lot of y'all, I don't really care for MLW if it ain't for this. But, all right, peace. Bye.